Introduction to Star Formation and Death Stars are fundamental components of the universe, playing a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Understanding how stars form and what happens when they die provides insight into the life cycles of celestial bodies and the processes that shape the cosmos. How Stars Form Stars begin their life in vast, cold clouds of gas and dust known as molecular clouds. These clouds, also referred to as stellar nurseries, contain the raw materials for star formation. When regions within the cloud collapse under their own gravity, they begin to condense and heat up, forming dense cores known as protostars. The Protostar Stage As a protostar continues to accrete material from its surroundings, its core becomes increasingly hot and dense. This process is accompanied by the release of energy, which creates a balance between the inward force of gravity and the outward pressure from the core's energy. When the core temperature reaches about 10 million degrees Celsius, 18 million degrees Fahrenheit, nuclear fusion begins, marking the birth of a new star. Main Sequence Stars Once nuclear fusion starts, the star enters the main sequence phase of its life cycle, where it spends the majority of its existence. During this time, the star fuses hydrogen into helium in its core, producing energy that counteracts gravitational collapse. The duration of this phase depends on the star's mass, more massive stars have shorter lifespans, while smaller stars, like red dwarfs, can last billions of years. The Death of Stars The fate of a star depends largely on its mass. Stars with masses similar to or less than that of the Sun will eventually exhaust their hydrogen fuel. As fusion slows, the core contracts and heats up, causing the outer layers to expand and cool. This results in the star becoming a red giant. Eventually, the outer layers are shed, forming a planetary nebula, while the core remains as a white dwarf. Supernovae and Stellar Remnants More massive stars undergo a more dramatic end. After exhausting their nuclear fuel, these stars undergo a supernova explosion, an immensely energetic event that blows away the outer layers of the star. The core left behind can become either a neutron star or, if it is sufficiently massive, a black hole. Supernovae play a crucial role in dispersing heavy elements into space, which are essential for the formation of new stars and planets. Neutron Stars Neutron stars are incredibly dense remnants of supernovae, with a mass between about 1.4 and 2.16 times that of the Sun but compressed into a sphere with a radius of only about 10 to 15 kilometers, 6 to 9 miles. These stars are composed mostly of neutrons and exhibit extreme gravitational and magnetic fields. They often rotate rapidly and emit beams of radiation, which can be observed as pulsars. Black Holes Black holes are the most enigmatic remnants of massive stars. When the core's mass exceeds a certain limit, known as the tallman oppenheimer volkoff limit, it collapses to a singularity, a point of infinite density surrounded by an event horizon from which nothing, not even light, can escape. Black holes influence their surroundings through their intense gravitational fields and play a crucial role in galaxy formation and evolution. Stellar Nucleosynthesis Throughout their lifetimes, Stars create and distribute various elements through nucleosynthesis, a process that occurs during different stages of their evolution. Elements such as carbon, oxygen, and iron are forged in the cores of stars and dispersed into space during stellar death, contributing to the formation of new stars, planets, and life forms. Conclusion The formation and death of stars are central to the dynamics of the universe. Stars begin their life in molecular clouds, undergo nuclear fusion in the main sequence phase, and eventually die in processes that range from the creation of white dwarfs to supernovae. These stages not only shape the stars themselves but also contribute to the ongoing cycle of cosmic evolution, influencing the creation of new stars and the development of galaxies.